It all started with a 108 feet pole that was installed to hoist the Hanuman flag to celebrate the Ram Mandir consecration. This was set up a week ago by the locals at Peragodu village of Mandya district in Karnataka. Now, it took a different turn when a set of locals went and complained, expressed dissatisfaction to the district administration, claiming that this flag needs to be removed. Based on the complaint, the district administration officials went to the place and decided to remove the Hanuman flag that was hoisted. Right from Saturday, this a uh, particular action of the district administration has been fought by the locals, which also includes BJP workers, JDS workers, as well as Hindu activists who opposed this move and asked them to go back. They uh, started sloganeering. They said go. Uh, they put up slo uh, go back slogans and sent them away. But on Sunday, the district administration officials were adamant to remove the flag because some of the Congress leaders have mentioned that the initial permission was sought only to hoist the national flag ahead of Republic Day and this has nothing to do with the Ram and the consecration and that the saffron flag must be removed. Based on this instruction, the district administration officials went and removed the saffron flag which triggered massive controversy and massive outrage. On Sunday, there were protests in Mandya district with a lot of tires that were burnt, highways that were blocked, even the Congress MLA's uh, house that was vandalized, posters of the Congress MLA that were also torn up. Based on this, the police officials were deployed and the, the police had to also resort to a mild lati charge and that's how normalcy was restored. Heavy police deployment because there was tension that prevailed even right through this morning at uh, the Mandya district of uh, uh, Karnataka. And uh, uh, after that, the BJP leaders decided to organize a statewide stir today. So all districts of uh, Karnataka saw BJP leaders enter and stage a protest at designated areas. In Bengaluru too, at the Mysore Bank Circle, where I'm standing right now, protests took place. And uh, soon after that, they were taken into preventive custody by the cops. All of them were raising Jai Shri Ram slogans, and they also claimed that it was the right of a Hindu to set up the Hanuman flag. The Congress has been consistently maintaining that the permission was only sought for the national flag. What started off as a religious celebration definitely took a political turn with war of words between both the Congress as well as the BJP. The Bajrang Dal has in the meantime uh, called for a bandh in Mandya district on February 9th. We'll have to see whether these kind of religious events will continue to take a political turn until the Lok Sabha election. With camera person Kumar, Fatih Baraman in Bengaluru for NDTV.